Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Quick Quiz template with hyperlinks which is a note, smart notebook file which allows you to quickly and easily create your own quizzes using smart notebook software on any topic you like and it uses hyperlinks to quickly jump between the questions and, and the answers for your quizzes. Here's an example of something I've created with the template. So we've got a quick revision exercise on algebra, adding and multiplying. Here we've got our quick quiz and there's five questions. So let's link to the answer for number one. So 2a plus 2b plus 3a plus 4b. Link to number one. There's the question again and we can reveal the answer with the slide shade. We can go, we could quickly go to question two and three and four or from any question we can quickly link back to the home page and talk about the next question that we wanted to answer in a, in a particular class we might not want to go from one to two we might skip two and three and say all right let's go to four okay and reveal the answer 3a times 4b is 12ab all right back there we might go back to the home page and a kid might say hang on uh, don't get number two so we'll go back there all right and got a bit of working out for this one okay so 3x plus 1x is 4x and 4y plus 3y is 7y all right as I said doesn't have to be maths can be geography history science whatever you like and I'll quickly show you now how you'll make it. First of all you can download the template from here and when you do download the blank template it'll look something like this. As you can see there's a number of slides in here. The first one is one where you can just click a few times to insert your heading, click a few times to insert your intro. The next slide is where you'll actually insert your questions. Now I've set it up with five questions. You can add questions or delete questions if you've only got four or if you want to make six. You actually don't need to put the questions in here if you've got say 10 or 15 questions. You might actually delete these, uh, the actual questions and just have the numbers here and just link to the questions. Okay, the links are already set up for you so if we go to number two, that goes straight to number two where you put in your question and your answer. So everything's set up, all you've got to do is plonk in your content. All right, so let's go through this and, and remake what I made in the initial example. So I'm going to pause while I just type in that text. Okay, I've typed in that text. Now let's go to slide two and we'll type in some questions. Okay, I've typed in that first question. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select that. I'm just going to click a few times to select it. And I'm going to press Control c or right click and copy. Then I'm going to actually click on the link 1 to go to question 1. And I'm going to just double click here and right click and paste. Then I can drag down the screen shade and plonk in the answer. Now that I've done that, I'll pull back the screen shade. And so that's now ready in class. We'll see question one is done. Okay, and it's ready in class to have a talk about it, get a kid to throw an answer in, and then reveal the correct answer. Back to slide one. I'll just do one more for you. And we'll pause while I type in question two. Right, I've done that. So I'm going to click a few times and then right click. And I'll copy that or just control C is quicker. Then I'll click I'll click off here. Go to number two, click on number two, and I'll click a few times to select question two, paste in my question, and then I'll type in the answer. Okay, I've done that. What I might actually do for this one now is I'll just drag that down as you can see and I might show a bit of working out. So what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this, right click on the question and clone it. And I might put in a one in a different color here. 
to highlight the fact that, uh, as a lot of kids don't understand, x is the same as 1x. I might also go down to my uh, pen tool. I'll select a blue pen to say, right, we're doing 3x plus 1x. And then I might go back down to the pen and select a different tool to say that we're going to add 4y and 3y. But that's just a smart notebook for temp uh, tip for beginners, I guess. It's got nothing to do with the template. How you use the template is up to you. But the point is that it's set up so that you can quickly and easily type in your questions, type in your answers, and utilize these links, which are already set up, to jump between the two. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you get kids get some use out of it too.